a very warm welcome to you guys onto my channel so please 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 consider subscribing the channel and hit the notification bell hi welcome back to my channel once again so today's video is all about baking or caking your face i've done a baking on my face already as you see and i look chiseled and all <laughs> that's my way of being chiseled so yeah so to we will learn what baking is actually what difference does it make to your makeup all together so we will learn about that and do a baking you require a very good setting powder or a translucent powder which are very expensive in the market it generally starts from 500 or more so like uh, i have this fine lines out here little wrinkles out here wrinkles and little fine lines out here i can give you a close-up you see none right now this is all because of baking and we're not talking about the expensive baking powders we're talking about a affordable one this is a baby powder this is from himalaya you can avail any like johnson's patanjali any baby powder the smaller uh, tubes like five or ten rupees and let's see how what baby so here you see I have used a baby powder that's from Himala and I've, I've come to the camera very close for you guys to see. If you notice just under my eye I have too much of oil secretes and it looks too shiny out there. So just damp your sponge with some makeup setting spray. If you don't have makeup setting spray please see one of my DIY where I have creamy, uh, I mean where, where I have taught you guys to make a setting spray on your own effective one. That That is exactly what I'm using as well. Take the powder in some tub the way I'm doing here. Now apply the powder on all the areas where you generally try to secrete oils or perspire so here I, all of us we of course do secrete some oil just under our, under our eyes so yeah we are applying generous amount out here if you are from a dry family be very gentle in applying the powder but if you're from oily family or you, you secrete a lot of oil from there you can definitely be generous so you can just apply the powder in all the areas which you generally secrete oil or where you tend to sweat now this is completely optional like just under your bronzing line or the contouring line is completely optional i just like this because it gives you that quite uh, pretty look after the finish so i'm just trying to bake it out there as well and just uh, to let you guys know that we generally sweat a lot around our mouth area as well i don't but if you do then you can definitely apply on those areas as well now i'll tell you what baking is like baking generally refers to like setting your translucent powder sit on your face for maybe uh, five minutes to ten minutes maximum which allows the he heat from your face like you know which the, the the natural heat from your face to set your base foundation and concealer and then dusting it off your face leave uh, it, uh, it uh, when you dust off uh, uh, from your face it leaves you with a very creaseless flawless finish like uh, it it uh, it blurs and it your fine lines and your pores and and it gives you that extra perfect look now as you see uh, it instantly uh, looks clearer brighter on all the areas where i have applied the powder now uh, like a translucent powder or setting powder can be tinted like banana powder which are on on yellow undertone uh, or it can be according to your skin or it can be translucent the one which we are using is a baby powder and it is translucent as you see my under eye looks more lifted more natural uh, it brightens the look of your under eye area and covers up the tar circle as well now let's see whether it actually works or no apply some bronzer or uh, contour or anything you prefer so that you see whether that powder stays there or starts weathering off no it does not as you see i'm applying some bronzer on both my uh, cheekbones and you can see the powder or the setted uh, setting powder it's still there it does not wither or smear anywhere off now i'm just applying some uh, like blusher to see whether it uh, whether it uh, moves out from the under eye area or no as you see no the i i still look brightened up in the under eye area now since so much of powder is very important to fix it with some makeup fixing spray this is my DIY makeup fixing spray apply generously and dab that onto your skin with the help of the same beauty sponge and you can definitely see the flawless flawless base for yourself like baking your face is a new way to get that perfect skin so do give it a try it looks very natural if you apply setting uh, uh, setting spray after you're done with your baking so thank you i hope you enjoyed this video you can definitely see the brightened under eye and uh, let's meet in other video